I would want this in my backyard. This is so cool. Look at all the partridge pee. Nature Boy Steve with Pinelands Nursery, and I'm standing in the middle of our pollinator meadow. I'm standing in our mowed section right now. Over to our left was the burn section, and over to our right was the section left standing. I can make a couple observations right now. The first one being that in the burned area, I'm seeing a little bit less Coreopsis throughout the span of things. But that's really it. That's all I'm really noticing at the moment. In our standing section, you can still see the remnant skeletons and, and uh, material of the last year's crop. But you can see this meadow is looking really great right now. We have Penstem in bloom, Coreopsis is in bloom. Um, there's over here, there's some Tradscantia, Ohioensis. There's Rattlesnake Master starting to flourish. That's developing a flower head right now. Not seeing that much variation between the blocks. We'll see as things, as time goes on, uh, what we notice and we'll keep you updated. We'll probably cruise around here a little bit more and try and point some different nuances out to you. These are uh, Baptisia australis right here and they're just starting to develop their seed. These are the seed pods. It's in the legume family. You open it up and you can see the little seeds starting to develop in there. And pretty soon, probably about a month from now, they'll turn black. The seed will be loose and it'll sound like a maraca. This is a cool legume. This is gonna be blooming in the next week. This is Baptisia tinctoria. Yeah, it's nice to see all the Baptisia tinctoria coming up out here because it's like a long species to come up. It's a more mature species in your meadow mix. Um, it's not something you're often going to see first coming up. The meadow is three years old now, and it's nice to see that. And the Baptisia australis as well. Really cool thing about the meadows is there's always something to look at. In the wintertime, you have really beautiful shapes and textures in here. In the springtime, you're going to have some of the early bloomers coming up that we had looked at a few months ago. And, you know, just all throughout the growing season, you're gonna have something new to look at all the way up until, you know, basically the end of October, you're gonna have species blooming. I would want this in my backyard. This is so cool. If everybody had like a little bit of this in their backyard, the world would just be a better place. You can make habitat in your backyard. Just a small slice of this, you're gonna enhance your biodiversity. You're gonna have birds coming. You're connecting the food chain, you're building the food chain from the bottom up. This is the fundamental building blocks of the food chain, these native plants. Bird food, you're creating bird food for this. Not only do the birds eat the seeds, but the birds are gonna um, be eating insects that are attracted to the plants. So you're just from the bottom up, building the food chain with plants and the ecosystem.